All right, so last lesson, uh, part one of this video, uh, we were trying to understand a linear relation. And so we remember that linear relation and linear means straight line. So whenever you see linear, you see the word line, that means basically straight line. All right, so any relationship where you get a graph that has a straight line, um, that's gonna be a linear relation. And so we said there was a few ways to express linear relations. And uh, one of those ways was using a table of values, and the other way was using a, a graph. And so what we did is we did both of those methods here. We had a table of values here uh, showing that uh, we had the horse running at a maximum speed of 15 meters per second. So we set it 0, 0, 1, and 15, and we filled in a table of values. We then converted that table of values over into a graph here, or, or a Cartesian plane. And so we graphed each of the points and we created a line of best fit in that. Remember, that should have been a straight line, but I, I don't have a straight line feature on here. Um, okay, so the next way that you can express uh, a relation or a linear relation is using an equation. All right, so that's what we're gonna do today is we're gonna basically express this linear relation using an equation. So if we were to just put an additional point on there, it would be using an equation. All right, so let's try to derive an equation for this linear relation. Okay, so let's figure this out here. So with a linear relation, um, you always, always wanna try to derive an equation from the table of values here. And so what we know is you always want to have the dependent variable equaling something. So here we know that we want the dependent variable, um, so which is distance, is equal to something, all right? So if you wanted to, if say in English class, you wanted to figure out uh, the relationship in words, you could say, well, well, distance is equal to basically the 15 meters per one second multiplied by the time, right? So if I had 15 times two, gives you 30, 15 times three gives you 45, 15 times four gives you 60. So distance is equal to basically 15 multiplied by the time in seconds. Okay, so if distance is equal to 15 multiplied by the time in seconds, and we knew that D represented distance and T represented time, then basically the D or the distance is equal to, so in math class we use equal signs, is equal to 15 multiplied by the time. And so that's our equation, 15 multiplied by time. Now, often you don't really put the uh, multiplication symbol in there because everybody knows that when um, you write a number right next to a variable, then you get, you don't need to put the, the multiplication symbol. So it's just D is equal to 15 T. All right, so there's our equation. All right, so D is equal to 15 T. And so that's an example of an equation that represents a linear relationship. All right, so D equals 15 T. If you wanted to, you could use that equation in a certain way. So let me uh, scroll over here. And let's try to, uh, to answer a couple more questions about this up here. Okay, so I'm kind of running out of space here, but uh, so we had D is equal to 15 times T. And so what if the question had said, find, let's say we had, uh, let's say we had a question here, I'll just write it in. So let's say we had um, find the distance after 10 seconds. Okay, so if we were to find the distance after 10 seconds, we want to use this equation because it wouldn't be very practical to use the table of values because then you'd have to go, well, we have four, we'd have to go all the way up to 10 seconds, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. So using the table of values isn't, isn't very good for this type of example. So the best way to do it is to use the equation. So D is equal to 15 T. Well, that means T is equal to 10 because it says the distance is 10 seconds. So then you make a substitution.
Okay, so D is equal to 15, and then T is 10. So when you substitute a number in for a variable, you want to include a set of parentheses. So 15 multiplied by 10, and so you don't have to put the multiplication symbol there because everybody knows that if you write a number with the parentheses here and another number, that means multiply. So D is equal to 150, and so basically you could write a sentence after that and you could say, um, you know, the horse went 150 meters after 10 seconds. All right, so that's an example of using the equation to solve something there.